Welcome back, everyone. We're here with hairstylist Willie and Kevin from Ladies Love Units, and we're talking all about wigs. Yeah, we're so excited to have this segment. So whether you're a pro or a newbie, if you're looking to perfect your wig install, these two have the tips, they have the techniques, they have the secrets to tell you about how to do it properly. So, Willie, Kev, thank you so much for joining us today. We thank have a you. beautiful model, uh, Glenna, here with us. So let's start the whole process. Kev, let's start with the foundation for our wig insta install process. What do we start with? So the first thing we start out with is to ensure that your wig is already customized. So bringing that wig to a professional is always a great idea to make sure that the knots are bleached, you have the right tone of lace, and it's a great size. So the wig that we're working with today has already went through that particular process. So it will be a smooth transition. Because there are folks that are gonna go and they're going to see a wig in a store and think that you can just grab that and pop it on your head. Yes. And if you haven't had some of the lace like to make parts in it yes. or had it styled or fitted to your head, it's either gonna be too big or too small. It's not gonna look right. So 100%. take it to a professional. Yes. So next up, Willie, you say that you need to apply a skin protectant skin before protectant. you're doing anything with this wig on your head. Yes. yes, yes. So anytime before you put anything, of course, onto your scalp or your skin, you wanna make sure the skin is clean. Yes. So we normally love to use a witch hazel, um, which is a cleaning astringent. Um, it just lightly removes like the oils and dirts on the skin, and yeah. then we put a skin protect over that. Okay. That will create a barrier between the lace and mm -hmm. the skin. So that way it's not necessarily directly onto the skin, but it's more so just a uh, protective barrier. Good, yeah, okay, so. the whole process is about protecting your skin and your hair. Yes. You don't right. want any of your real hair coming out in 100%. this process, okay? Yes, yes. So a wig cap is a, a great option to protect yes. your natural hair, mm -hmm. but some clients don't have the option of wearing a wig cap, so yep. the next option is a wig grip. And okay. a wig grip is made of a nice soft uh, material that creates friction between your hair and the wig so it keeps it in place. Oh, mm. lovely. Okay, so let's show how you would put yes. on, what is it called again? A wig, wig grip. grip. A wig mm. grip. Yes. So that's so you and can this, do cartwheels, right. just yeah. joking. And this normally Maybe sits not. behind right. the hairline, yes. yeah. almost like a headband, so not necessarily right at the front of the hairline, but sitting toward the back. Yes. Got you. Okay, and it's nice and soft, it's so very it's going to be fine like a nice, on your hair. Exactly. Soft material. It yeah. doesn't pull or anything. Beautiful. Okay, yeah. so we've got that on. What would mm -hmm. be our next step? Our next step, of course, would be applying the uh, Boho Liquid Lace Jelly. So okay. we would use the Boho Lace Jelly just right across the front here yeah. where we would want the lace area to land. Okay. Then we would pop so, on now, this. I know you have a couple of options um, in terms of what you can be putting on underneath that wig. You can yes. go with glue or you can go... Glueless. Without so there are, glue, correct. yeah. So we have the Boho products. We have the gold, Boho Liquid Gold yeah. and the Boho uh, Lace Jelly. These are glueless products that will last one to two days oh, wow. once you apply them. If not, you also have the Boho um, Glued products, the Active, the uh, Active Max and the Extreme. Okay. Those will last anywhere from one to three weeks when applied correctly. So you can leave, you can keep the wig on for 100%, that long. 100%, yes. 100%. And what yes. do you, like, how do you make sure that if you are using the glue, mm -hmm. how do you get that off and not harm anything? So that how would be, remove? we recommend always using uh, the remover from yes. that particular line of wig glue. Okay. So the bowl hole uh, product has a remover as well yeah. that you're able to use to, you know, five minutes, let it sit, yeah. let it do its job, and then take it off. Because we don't want to worry about excess pulling on the hair mm -hmm. or that glue that uh, may have gotten onto the hair. Yes. want to release it correctly. So before we do anything further, please look at Glenna. Glenna, like that is so lovely. <laughs> that is a big transformation. Look right there into that camera. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Like it fits your head. Yes. Because it is custom. Yes. So we went with her sizing. Yeah. And of course, the lace tone matches her. Yeah. Okay. Yes. So what's our next step? What do we need to do to make um, it look like a pro? Exactly. So we go into our melting. So this would be a melt band. Okay. Um, this here. So we would go and use this just to press the lace into the skin a little bit more. So we want that 
line of demarcation to be gone. So if you're oh, lace, I should have asked you this first. Did you did you need to blow dry it first? Um, yes, you want to use when you put your lace jelly on. You use yeah. the blow dryer a couple seconds just to kind of set it, and yeah. then put your melt band on top of that. Okay, and mm -hmm. that's going to make sure it all fuses together. Exactly. So it has a nice compression, not too tight. She doesn't want a headache, right. but she definitely <laughs> wants her lace to be <laughs> melted. melted. Um, so we would put that on. You would kind of like do your dishes, brush your teeth, that's however right. you're ready. Maybe do in your morning. makeup. Exactly. If you Finish want, yeah. your makeup, and then you would be able to take it off, and then would have that nice melted look. And if you think about it, if you ha like have those cool, cute little baby hairs mm -hmm. happening, yes, yes. they get melted in and it just and looks set. beautiful, part yes. of the look. Okay, yes. so um, what have we got next? What do we need to know about next? Any uh, salon secrets there that you want to share with us, um, styling? Yeah, of course, styling. So you always want to make sure that the unit is customized to you. So we will go in and add like some nice layers, a nice yeah. frame. Mm -hmm. Everybody's face shape is different. So if we're going to go for a bob, we want to make sure that you cut it onto the face. Got so it. that way it's not like a mannequin's head or uh, just not necessarily fitting uh, for your face. Right. Yeah. Okay, yes. beautiful. Thank you. Do you want to take off the melt Yes, we'll take off our melt band. The melt band. Yes. And have you got a product there, Kathy, you wanted to mention? Definitely. Our thermal spray. So yes. when it's heat styling your unit, you always want to protect the hair because the hair doesn't yes. replenish itself like our natural hair. Right. So you always want to use a heat protecting spray or yes. some type of serum yeah. to protect the extensions from the heat itself. And our, our ultra... Uh, thermal spray is a great product for really that. Great. Beautiful. Yes. Okay, so preserve your skin, preserve your hair, but yes. then also, why not have different looks that you can Switch play with? Exactly. But make sure you go to the pro for the yes. tips and a proper <laughs> cut, right? Thank you so much, Willie yeah, and Kevin, uh, for the great, great ideas and tips. So we're headed to break right now, but don't go anywhere because we've got an epic makeover reveal coming up. I'm so excited for her. Yeah. Stay with us, everyone. Thank you.